Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY and today we're doing a review of this seven cubic foot yard cart that is poly material and is made from Gorilla Cart. So let's go ahead and get the camera turned around for you guys. So I just picked this up from Lowe's uh, about two days ago and I've gotten a chance to use it um, like one time and it only took about, I want to say 10 to 15 minutes to build if you kind of you know go at it consistently just with for one person they do a really good job with their instructions you'll see that in the reviews too a lot of people just absolutely love how simple and easy the instructions are they basically have i think it's a one through six it's either one through six or one through five and it's literally like you know number one you have these bolts number two you have these bolts and the instructions literally correspond to those perfectly so um, whether you're a novice or a, a person who does this stuff all the time, like putting this type of things together, then, uh, you know, this should be easy for you either way. So we have really nice, uh, zinc coated, uh, pretty much everything felt like it was grade eight, um, bolts and hardware. Everything that they included had, um, nylon <coughs> locking on it. So you don't have to worry about anything backing out or anything, it, you know, in case you don't get it super tight, you don't have to worry about thread lock. The actual tires themselves uh, look like they're probably uh, maybe 12 inch. Um, they're actually Gorilla Carts brand and they're very simple. They just use these uh, locking pins right here and um, then you can just slide them off and they just have a washer right here to uh, let them spin freely. Um, they are inflated so they're not solid tires meaning you know they can go flat. Um, you can puncture them and whatnot but they do offer for a much smoother ride and more carrying capacity. Um, and I'll actually get some specs on the screen of exactly like how much this can carry and whatnot. We do know for a fact though that it's seven yards. Um, and there's some really cool features about this cart because you might be looking at it thinking, okay, this is $200. And if you didn't know that, you're probably like, wow, $200 for this. Well, I think it has some pretty cool and redeeming features. Um, and a few of them just, you know, not exactly features, but for one, Gorilla Carts is known for having very good build quality. They use metal on pretty much everything. And the things that are plastic actually make sense being plastic. So obviously your whole entire cart is plastic. That's honestly a big part of it is to cut down on weight and cost. And on top of that, this plastic is very impact resistant. So you can drop stuff in here all day and not have to worry about it. It does actually have a pretty rigid frame underneath it too. So it's not like the middle is unsupported or anything. I could stand this right now and you know, it would hold me just fine. And then another thing I like is actually add these rails right here, which it looks like they're about, I would say one inch, um, maybe a little bit smaller by about two inch. So you can put like one by twos in here and then you could build yourself up like really any kind of trailer you want. But obviously this thing isn't huge, you know, it's not like a full size trailer, it's a yard cart, uh, simply put, that's the category it's in. And one of the things that I really like about this, well, two of the things, handle right here, you basically take out this cotter pin. So let me get that up and out for you guys. So this comes out like that. And then this pin up here, you're going to see me actually take it out and do this with one hand. And then this, rather than just sliding off, you can just slide off if you want, actually slides back. So you don't have to worry about losing the handle. And then you actually have a clevis mount where you can mount that to any type of trailer, device, I mean, whatever, whether it's you wanna mount it to like a John Deere, you wanna mount it to a, uh, let's say like a four wheel or whatever. Um, you know, as long as you have one of these mounts or something that it can literally just fit onto, this is now a trailerable um, yard cart. So you can actually, you know, take it uh, longer distances and not have to worry about uh, pulling it by hand, especially if you have a lot of stuff loaded on there. So that's one of the features that I really like about it that definitely, you know, adds a little bit of value to it. And one of the biggest features is this. So this yellow handle is not there just for show. This thing actually, and it's kind of crazy how the tires move with it. Uh, they definitely engineered this thing, but you can actually tip this thing pretty much 90 degrees, um, really even a little bit more if you're on an incline. And it, I just think it's super cool how they did this because the wheels actually move with it. And then from there, you can basically just hold onto the handle and it's, it's not trying to fall backwards, by the way. That's another cool part is how this is slanted. Any material is going to come out of this without taking the whole thing with it. Obviously, if you're on like a steep hill, it could try to come with it. But right now, we're on a slight incline going downwards and this thing is very sturdy. It's not gonna fall out from underneath me or anything. And then once you're done, uh, literally just hold it and clip it on and that's it. So I really do think that that does add a significant amount of value. Now, does it add, you know, for a total of 200, I, that's kind of up to you to decide. I mean, yard carts are not cheap. You'd, you'd think they'd be pretty cheap, but your next best bet is going to Harbor Freight and for like 130 bucks to have one that I think is one 
cubic foot bigger than this one and I think it's all metal um, but I don't believe it has like the tilt feature and everything I think it might have like a, a little trailer bed that opens though which is kind of cool as well so you know compare and contrast them um, I, I just knew Gorilla Carts are really good and honestly I didn't feel like going out of my way that day to go to Harbor Freight so we ended up with this guy right here now that we've gone over most of the basic specs uh, you know there's really only so much you can talk about this it's, it's a pretty basic wagon essentially um, with some extra features I would like to go ahead and load some stuff onto this, show you guys, you know, what it's like maneuvering it. It is zero turn technically, so you can basically turn your wheels uh, like 90 degrees and, and uh, make it to where the back wheels just spin rather than having to move um, to do complete turns. So this is really nice in tight spaces and whatnot too. All right, I think we got it uh, loaded uh, past its maximum occupancy. So let's go ahead and uh, do the drive back. I'm gonna actually, this is just stuff that needs to go to the dumpster. So we'll go ahead and do that. We got it emptied out. Uh, everything's in the truck and uh, one last time, I'll show you guys this feature while it's actually attached to something, which actually makes it even sturdier now I'm thinking about it. I mean, because even if we did pull back on it, it literally uh, can't go anywhere when it's actually attached to something. So that's also a nice little added bonus uh, if you use a lawnmower or something like that. But yeah, it definitely worked out great. Um, definitely no complaints with this thing. And uh, the fact that, you know, like I said, you could add more onto it with this. Um, kind of making it limitless possibilities, you know, if you're able to, to design stuff. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. If you want to uh, purchase this cart or similars, I will put some, probably like links just to Lowe's, which will not be affiliate links in the description down below if you just want to go buy that from Lowe's or order it online. And if I can find this cart or similar carts in like Amazon and some similar sites that we have affiliate services, and I'll also link those in the description down below if you guys want to help us out. So, overall, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, Leave a like and a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.